Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck, and this is the Dear Vitted 2012 Part 4. Uh, in the last episode I showed you around the fortress and uh, told you what you actually see in Dwarf Fortress, but this episode will actually kind of start building things. Uh, but before that, uh, as you might see, I've updated Dwarf Fortress to the latest version, well, latest version as of this moment. And uh, I also made a Play Along edition. So, for you guys who want to play along, it's uh, on this site, on the Dwarf Fortress file depot. Uh, this is the exact, exact URL, and uh, I'll also put it uh, below, the, below the video even. And, um, well, it's an updated version of the Lazy New Pack. I had updated myself, but it's, uh, it's fine. And uh, if you want, you can use it to play along. And, uh, oh, you get in the edit here. And, uh, well, that's enough of that. Um, let's get back to the game. And actually, let's start playing. Since uh, it's time I start actually telling you how to play Dwarf Fortress. Well, first I'm going to have to load for a second. And yeah, here we are. Um, here we are in the Dwarf Fortress world. Oh, one second. Okay, so here we are. This is uh, what you get if you uh, well download the Play Along version and uh, yeah, start playing. And... Uh, well, here we are in this, this area. It's a pretty simple area. It's a flat area. And I should show you more of it before we start. Um, let's do that with the mouse wheel. I'm going to zoom out for a little bit. You can see everything in the zone again. And um, well, you can't see much of the menu at the moment. But well, it's a flat area with a road going straight here. A uh, river in the north, northeast even. And... Uh, it's pretty simple, and uh, all, yeah, all kinds of lakes around here, but uh, we're actually going to use this to start a fortress. Now, first to get back from mouse wheel of vision. There we go, let's change it to something comfortable, this should be fine. Um, okay, and uh, well now we actually start, need to start get building our fortress, but um, first I need to teach you some other controls. Or, well, go over the controls, uh, uh, the basics at least. And, uh, well, let's just do that. Uh, so, for controls, qua keys. The first key you need to learn is the arrow keys. This is simple, just move the arrow keys around and you move the screen around, the screen on the left at least. And if you hold shift, you can do that faster. So, now I'm moving a whole lot faster than I'm holding shift. Okay, so, that's just moving around. Um... Oh yeah, what I also told you in the previous video, you can use the K button to look around at things. So, there's all these things on the screen here and you have no idea what they are, like, what is this? And, well, I'm going to press K, move the, uh, the, the little X cursor which you get with the arrow keys again. And, uh, well, now I can see it's a shrub. It's a, a shrub and here's a tree, it's an alder tree and there's a, a sh other shrub and a chestnut tree. And uh, more shrubs. It's uh, all kind of shrubberies, and um, well, that's all fine. That's that's the K button. Now with that, you can look around at uh, all your dwarfs. Um, well, not your dwarfs. You can look around at the objects. Um, that's a good distinction to make. Uh, so with K, you can look around at, at static objects like like the tree and the shrubs and and, and everything here. And uh, the thing is, you won't see the dwarfs with the K button. Well, you'll see him here. There's the, the Miner is here, and this is his name, Uvashavi Zevost, whatever. And you won't get much information on the miner itself. Uh, it, with the K button, you get the information on what is in the tile. Um, if you want more information about the dwarfs, you can press the V button. V for a um, few units. And with that, uh, you can look, take a look at the dwarf, and he has all sorts of sub, sub menus. But I'll go into those later. Um, for now, just know that with V you can take a look at the dwarfs, and K is for normal objects. Um, so that's uh, that's basics, but I haven't gone up and down yet. Should mention this uh, in this video too. Um, so, as you might know, the Dwarf Fortress world, it's not just one layer. This, this is just one layer of the cube. And uh, I can go up. And I can go down. And um, I do this with the shift keys. Uh, well, the, the brackets. Um, shift, comma, shift, dot. I'll put a, a picture down below with all, with all the keys, I hope. And um, 
anyway with shift comma and shift dot you can move up and down levels and so you can go down a couple of levels go up a couple of levels and that's the way you control the war fortress this is a very very important option if you don't know about know enough about this watch the previous video again since um, yeah it's a it's a hard thing to get around these these levels of dwarf fortress especially in the beginning but it is very very important in the game and especially in this flat area where we're going to work um okay so that's where it's for moving upwards and downwards um other keys i need to really need to tell you now oh yeah tab um with the tab button you can move this menu around you normally start with something like this and uh, this on the right here is the mini map and it will show a little couple of things like these rocks are where your dwarves are it's a pretty bad mini map actually but um, it is a mini map um, but uh, usually I, I move it around and you can use that with the, the tab key yeah to have move this menu map it says it's here and uh, this is my preferred option this also because this menu changes a lot uh, especially when you're building things um, Anyway, that's um, about all the basic keys done. Um, before we get started building, oh, one thing is important: uh, the space button to resume the game. Uh, as you can see now, the game is paused, and well, while the game is paused, nothing will happen. You can plan all you want, but uh, the, the dwarves don't actually won't actually do something until you press space and let the game run. Well, let's let the game run for a little second here and uh, I press space to resume and now you can see the more dwarves moving around and if they had jobs they'll start doing things so remember that space for pause and, and pausing is very important in this game every time you build something the game will auto pause you cannot build and uh, well, design and run the game at the same time it, it needs to be paused and like even if you run the game then you press a special button like D it'll automatically pause very important to know oh, that's the cable um, okay so that's it for all the buttons now we actually need to move on to building things um, and take one little more little break okay so that's the basic controls done now we need to move on to actually building things and then creating some food and shelter for your dwarves. And um, well, first we need to do is uh, find a good location for the fortress. And if you remember the map we, we took, uh, we had one with the aquifer. But the aquifer was in the southwest of the map. And um, well, that just means we have to choose a better location. Uh, let's, let's zoom out a little bit. So bottom left here should be the aquifer if I remember right and the top right this should be relatively safe here's also the river and this fortress and this road even and I'll think I'll make my fortress here this little zone between the river and, uh, and the road here and this should be aquifer less so let's give that a try um, back to normal vision and well, let's set, select an area here we have the river in the top in the uh, yeah, northeast even road in the west um, I'm going to just select one little area over here and this should be fine there should be more than enough uh, space here to build a fortress I think I'm going to build a square fortress like something like this um, okay but now we need to start and then we need more buttons of course yeah um, so more buttons <laughs> and uh, the first one I'm going to teach you is the, the D button the designations button and this will give you a whole list of commands on the right um, I'm going to not going to mention them all at the same time now but I'll, I'll gradually yeah, talk about them when needed but first of all we're going to start with chop down trees this is automatically the selection option when you're outside uh, when you're inside it all yeah, you want to go to mining, but uh, well, if you want to change this, press T for chop down trees or D T from the main menu, and um, then let's well, select an area and chop down some trees. We'll need to chop trees. Uh, need to make beds out of them, and um, well, I select this area somewhere like here. This should be fine. 
I'm going to select an area um, like this and as you might have noticed I am moving around really fast here this is with the shift key the shift key works nearly everywhere so with shift I just selected an area um, with enter oh, uh, I'm just skipping over these things um, that's the other thing you need to know enter <laughs> it's a very important button uh, these designation options are like zones uh, if you ever played Dungeon Keeper of Evil Genius, you get the same idea. You use these to dig, you use these to, well, designate an area to be done something in. As for now, I've, I've designated these trees to be chopped down. Um, and, well, let's show the game actually doing that. I'm going to unpause the game, resume, and uh, now this tree will start blinking, which means the dwarf will do something with it. And, well, here's my woodcutter dwarf. If I press V, yeah, that's my woodcutter dwarf. And uh, he's chopping down a tree, and well, he will chop down all these trees uh, if you give enough time. Um, but while he's doing that, let's move on to the ne next step. First thing is we'll need some trees, and well, he's doing that. Uh, the next thing we need to do is um, well, actually start mining. And uh, I'm going to do that somewhere over here, so I'm going to designate something else this time. I'm going to work with stairs, and um, stairs are a very weird thing in Dwarf Fortress. I really should show you a little screen of that. One second. Okay, uh, I switched to an old version of the uh, Dwarf Fortress Wiki really, to show you this little picture. This is uh, a classic one, but it still works. Um, so, with Dwarf Fortress, as you know, you're looking at levels. This is level 1, this is level down this is level up and uh, what I want to do is dig down I want to make a stair so my dwarves can move down the level and can start digging over here and this is the level where the river and stuff like this is but they need a way to get down and stairs come in there but stairs they work weirdly in this game and um, let's get the picture back uh, normal stairs you need to connect them and um, well, this shows you the best. You have more. You have three, like basically three types of stairs: upstairs, downstairs, and up downstairs. And upstairs only create an upstairs in a tile. Uh, downstairs only creates a downstairs in the floor, basically. And just these things will not work easily enough. What you need, uh, basically, is up downstairs. These have both on the same level, so you can use these to have like a staircase where your dwarves can move up and down and all, all they want. And um, well, if if you don't still don't understand this, uh, this thing to take away is just build up downstairs on every level. That's the easiest way. Um, but since I'm starting on a flat level, I can't do that. Uh, since I could like designate a, uh, a down stairway with, with I here and place it here but the dwarves won't be able to dig that because there's no tile here because there's no ground they'll need something like a tile like this then they could dig, dig it out when I go level down so I have to start with a down staircase a, down, a downward stairway even and uh, well, let's place that here in the middle of this tree area um, here should be fine. So I'm going to start with the down, downward stairway. Place that on the top level. Press enter twice. Or enter once. And then twice. And yeah, now it's selected here. You can hardly see it with this texture, te texture pack. But it is here. Now I'm going to move one level below that. And the level below that I'm going to make up down stairways. So yeah, even from this level they can still go down. And that's the best idea to take. Just big up down stairways on every level and uh, I'm going to do that. First I'm going to place one here on this level. So you press enter twice uh, or, or I could also press enter in a line like this but I want to like one little tile at the moment. Um, also you can remove a designation with X. With X even. Uh, if you were, you're not happy about it and you want it gone, press X. And then you can use enter and the arrow keys again to remove that designation. Um, also new in this version of the Dwarf Fortress 2012 is that you can designate downwards and upwards too. So 
uh, in previous versions you couldn't do this. I, I started like um, oh yeah, tell this. Uh, you couldn't do this in previous versions. Um, like I start uh, at just uh, a stair way here on this level, and um, now I can actually move down a couple of levels. Press enter, and it will have built on all the levels. And the same word works with removing. Just select that area, move down, and press enter again, and. Well, it will move up and down, and that's one of the best up updates of Dwarf Fortress 2012. And uh, if you didn't know, know that yet, <laughs> you should probably be very happy right now. Um, so, actually I'm going to use that now to make a, a long staircase down, so my well, dwarves can use that to move up and down all the levels. And, you know what, I'm very happy with the 3x3 three three staircase design, I, I always do this. So I'm going to select the level under the stair here. and going to make a 3x3 three three area and going down a whole lot of levels and now I have an, a, a central staircase basically this will be the, the the heart of my fortress this is the D staircase which is will for now be the entrance to my fortress and well which will connect every level and uh, well let's see, see it be dug out um, I'm going to press space and uh, the dwarf should come. And yeah, there's my minor dwarf, as you can see. And he's digging here. He's actually created the stair now. And when when I move down the level, well, he'll find some stuff. He's he's found finding native gold of, uh, apparently. And uh, well, there's no aquifer apparently here, so all is fine in the world. And well, if I look around a little bit, my dwarves are busy yeah, digging out this central staircase. Um, so that's a nice start. Um, <laughs> also, we're uh, getting pretty deep in the time. Um, well, first, well, we need to move on, and um, let's show you one second. <laughs> okay, thought about this, and uh, well, in the interest of not making this video too damn long, I'll think I'll, sh I'll focus this video on showing you uh, the shelter. Not going into food production yet, so I'll keep that for the next video. But uh, first, you need to see how your dwarves, well, how they can create a bed and a table so they can can eat and sleep like like a normal dwarf. And now they have nothing; they'll have to sleep and eat outside. And well, we can't have our dwarves do that. So uh, let's move on with that. And uh, well, to do that, we first need some stones. And well, my diggers, my miners, have actually find some stones. Those are the, the tiles you see here, the, the, the blinking things on the stairs. There's a, a Mika stone. And my doors will be able to use this and to create new things, uh, new objects like beds and tables. But first, I'll need to give them that order to create uh, those things. Yeah. And um, well, let's start with that. And uh, now I'm going to have to teach you another new option, and that's the B menu. The B is for building things. Building armor stands, beds, door receptacles, or burial receptacles even, and a whole lot of things. And um, yeah, this menu, by the way, uh, you can scroll around here with the minus and plus keys on your numeric keypad. This means if you're on a laptop and you do that, do not have a numeric keypad, you might run into some problems here. And um, if you do, uh, if you have the latest new pack, you should use another key set. Uh, if you use the lazy new, the lazy new, new pack key binding, then uh, then it'll probably it will work on the laptop since it moves the keys to the minus and plus keys, which are normally on, uh, on any kind of keyboard. So that's for you laptop players. Uh, for normal keyboard players, just I prefer to keep it the same, and I'm using the minus and plus and the, and the, the numpad and star and slash to move around this. And um, well, to actually start making some beds, I first need a workshop. I need a carpenter to make the bed, and uh, that's with the W option. Uh, it's somewhere in this list, list too. Yeah, the W, um, but. Well, you'll need to use this option a lot, so let's do this a little bit faster. If you, from the main menu, press B, W, you'll already go to the, the workshops. 
you'll immediately go to the workshop menu. And uh, now we are going to need to build a couple of things. Um, I'm going to build them a little bit faster and um, not going to complete the intel over everyone. So I'm going to give you a list of of uh, some workshops which you should really build in the beginning. Uh, the first off being a carpenter. Uh, with the C button or well, select it with the arrow keys. Uh, build a carpenter and build it somewhere near your central staircase. It doesn't really matter that much where. You can also move it later and this will probably all be moved inside later anyway. So, first I'm going to build a carpenter, uh, place that, build it out of something. Here, for new players, it doesn't really matter what you select here. Press press enter and it'll build the carpenter workshop. Now I'm going to go on, Going also going to build a mason next to that. Uh, that's the M button, building a mason next to the carpenter shop. And still going on, also going to build two craft, craft stores workshops. And let's build those two over here. Um, I prefer to build two of these so I can give more commands, but later. Um, so two of those. Uh, what I also need is a butcher, which you always need to build outside. And uh, well, let's just build it on the other side here. The staircase uh, like here. Made it out of a chestnut. And the last thing I need is a tanner. So build that too. So now I've built a carpenter, a mason, two craft dwarves, dwarfs, a butcher, and a tannery. Uh, this will get you started. Well, uh, if you're playing around, build those two and uh, press space <laughs> so the dwarfs will actually get to build the workshops. Uh, I think the game run for a little while, so they'll get built. Here, the, one of the craft dwarfs is being done. I think that was the, the butcher here. And uh, that's the masonry done. Let's give the dwarves a little bit more time and yeah, show you how they do it. Because remember, the game will not actually do something until you unpause. Very, very, very important thing. Uh, well, I think they're all done now, so I'm going to pause the game again. Press space again, and it's paused. And now I'm going to set up a couple of things. Um, first. I'm going to go to the carpenter shop. Oh, and I need to tell you another button. Uh, now it's time for the Q button. Q for what's it stand for? Set building task preferences. If you build a workshop like this and uh, you actually want to do something with it, then you use the Q button. So Q for doing something with the workshop. And I'm going to start with the carpenter over here, and I'm going to queue up some beds. And to do that, press A to add a new task, press B for a bed, or use the minus arrow keys again, and minus plus on the numeric keypad again. Uh, to make this faster, I'm going to press B. And can press A, B, 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 and make a whole lot of beds. Um, now, that's so that's the carpenter, he's making beds. Now the mason. The mason, I'll need to make some, some tables and chairs. So, let's add some... Uh, a and a command, a table with a T, and let's make four chairs. Should be uh, four tables even, should be fine. Now to do for the chairs, the A to add a command. And a chair in this option is called a throne for some reason. Uh, it's a rock chair is called a throne. And um, well, it still has the C button, uh, C fast button, so C it is. So A C, A C, A C, A C. Now I've built a couple of thrones, uh, or chairs even. Um, also to get your hunter started in the beginning, this is something I really should tell you, uh, you can go to the craft horse workshop. Um, more detail about this later, but the first one thing you want to do is go uh, add something, add something from wood, add some wooden bolts. And I'm going to use A, enter, A, enter, A, enter, A, enter, and create a whole lot of wooden bolts. Uh, the other craft dwarfs, is, there's something else you need to make for later. Those are um, nest boxes, and you can make those with rock. Um, so, the first craft dwarf I've set to make wooden bolts, the second one I've set to make rock nest boxes. And here there's no other key, like the C or the Z here, 
but you need to just need to use the, the minus and plus keys to move to where, towards it. Now here's the nest box, press enter, and let's make the nest boxes as well. These are important for later, and it's uh, it's nice that you know this already. So this is what I queued, uh, like ten beds, four tables, four thrones, ten wooden bolts, ten rock nest boxes. That'll that'll get you started. The other workshops, the butchery and the tannery, um, well, this one is suspended. Um, also, if you see something like this, it happens. You can press S to uh, unsuspend it, and that will hopefully work. Um, anyway, uh, once <laughs> we're getting to the, uh, yeah, the butcher and the tannery, you will not need to give them commands. Uh, the butcher and the tanner are things that work automatically, so just build them once and you can forget about them. Your dwarves will do the, do the jobs themselves. Um, so now all those commands are set. Uh, now I need a place to dig out and actually where to place the beds and tables. Let's go do that underground here. I'm going to go one level down, just just below the surface. And here I'm going to well dig out a room. Um, you know what? Let's make a corridor room like this. Uh, to have the same idea, I'm going to make one here, make a little hallway in the middle of them, and, um, well, this should be enough, actually. I'm going to make a fortress like this, and uh, now I've dug out with mining. Uh, it, I didn't even tell this, but instead of building stairs, you can also normally mine, and this is what I'm doing now, with D, enter, enter. It's uh, you select an area to mine, and just like Dungeon Key Pro, Evil Genius, now my dwarves will start mining this too. So D mining, enter, enter. It's it's pretty simple actually. And now you've got given a designation command for what needs to be dug out. Now I'm going to pause the game, and multiple things should happen at the same time. Up top here, my dwarves should be starting to do these commands. Well, here's the tannery being built. And here's actually the mason going in and uh, making rock next boxes, and this one is making wooden bolts, so the bed started, that's nice. Now my digging needs to go through down here, so I can actually place the beds and and those tables when they're built. Um, but you know, things are getting going a bit slowly, where, where are my dwarves? Oh, that's another key, really key I really need to teach you, which I've almost forgotten. It's the U button. If you want to find your dwarves, there's one good way. It's the U button, the unit menu. Press U, you get this menu. And, well, I find, want to find my minor dwarf, so I'm going to move with my arrow keys to the minor dwarf. And press C to look at him. And now, hey, I know, I said this, he's at this level. If I want to find my, my hunter dwarf or my mason, well, I move to him, press C. And, hey, here he's apparently at this level. So that's a good way to move around and a fast way to move around till you find your dwarves if, if you've lost them. But um, well, this video is getting rather long. It's, this part is at 20 minutes already and I still need to build the beds. Um, so I'm going to give the game a little bit of time and let it uh, well dig itself out and dig all this completed room out. and. Uh, after that I'll be back after the break. So now this has been designated. And now. And now it's almost dug out. Uh, let me show you the end of the digging up phase here. So that command I give this designation that I've gave is well not done, at least the top part and the bottom part is done here too. So that's the room done. Okay, now I need to actually place the beds and stuff in there. Uh, they're still making some beds and some thrones, but well, that will finish in a little while and let me just start placing those so my dwarves have some place to to eat and to sleep, which was the whole idea. And um, we need to do that with the B menu again. B is also for building other things like the beds and the seats. Um, well, let's start off with the beds. It's pretty easy. It's here and it's the B button. If you want to do it fast, BB will make a, med a bed. And um, well, I'm going to make a little room here. This will be the sleeping room of my dwarves, or this will be the, the 
temporary sleeping room and eating room of my dwarves. And let's place a bed. Press enter. Press enter again. And I'm going to do this a couple of times here. Let's place uh, all my beds I have at the moment. Well, that's four apparently in this corner. Um, now I'm going to do the same with my tables. Uh, I'm going to place my tables. Let's place them here in the corner. I'm going to do the same thing basically. Press enter. And oh yeah, tables. You select them with. Uh, <laughs> this is very really easy for me. For the, the, the T button, T for table, or it's somewhere in this list. Uh, yeah, here table. But T if you want to do it fast. So T, enter, enter, T, enter, enter. Or select the table there and enter, enter. And that's four tables. Now for chairs, chairs are called seats in this list. So yeah, that's an annoying thing. The one screen is called the throne. Here it's called the seat. Some other place it's called a chair but well it's the C button every time so C A uh, B C to build a chair or a seat or just move around here again and let's build seats next to the tables which in that's which a dwarf needs a table next to a chair and then then you have a sort of office and you can eat on that uh, not all the chairs are done yet but now they'll be placed at least or at least some of them let's unpause the game again and now yeah, my dwarves are dragging in the items which I've built. Here the chairs are being placed, now the tables, and there comes the first bed. And uh, let's wait until the beds are done too. There we go, pause the game again. Now we're almost done. Now the beds are placed, but they, well, you won't automatically use them, not every time at least. You need to set some rooms from, the, from these items. And for this, I'm going to use the Q button again. So Q is for workshops, but it's also for beds and basically any built item. And uh, well, first I'm going to need a bedroom, a dormitory. I'm going to go to one of these beds, press R to resize the room. Uh, well, this uh, make sure it overlaps with all the beds in this this little blinky area. And you can use plus and minus to resize this. And when it has all the beds in it, press Enter and uh, the menu menu will change. Now for your first dwarves you want a dormitory. Press D to set this to be a dormitory and now I have one. And a dormitory means uh, all the dwarves can sleep there. It's a free room which they can all use. Barracks are for the military and if you don't set it like one dwarf will claim the room like it's his and and other dwarves can't use it anymore so remember set beds to be a dormitory. Um, same sort of deal with tables. Uh, you need to make a dining room from a table, not from a chair. A uh, chair is something else, that's an office. From a table you can make a dining room. So press R on with no, first Q menu, then R on a, a table. Resize this as much as you want. Press enter again. And uh, the, with this, with the dinner dining tables, you need to make them a meeting hall. This is easier later when um, you get migrants for that later, but um, just remember set this to be a meeting hall with H. And um, well, that's done. Now when I continue, or maybe uh, also when this is done, you can actually fill in the, the other objects later if this room is set and will be used. So uh, I'm going to place the last set of chairs now, or maybe not, or maybe add some other beds. Well, at least one, and once those are placed, they'll actually be able to use in that room since they're in the right area. But uh, well, now I'm actually done with my goal for this episode, and I'm probably uh, at least half an hour in. But um, that's, uh, this is shelter. Now my dwarves will actually move around in here, and um, they can sleep here, they can eat here, and they have a shelter. They don't have food yet, and that will need to come fast in the next episode. And there's already some uh, some bad stuff hanging around in here, which will need to move, be moved out. And also, apparently, there are ravens. Uh, by the way, this menu you get the E menu, and it's a list of the A button, and it's a list of what you see down here. If you missed it, press A, and you can see it again. Apparently, there's ravens near here. Well, it shouldn't be that much of a problem, but. Um, well, this video has been long enough for now. I've had most of the basic commands in this video. Uh, next episode, we'll actually start getting, uh, start building a food supply. 
your dwarves now they have shelter, but they also need food and water. And uh, that will be the focus of the next video, and maybe the defense against that crow, that raven even. But uh, for now this will be enough, and uh, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later guys.